I don't love Myers Briggs because I've changed a lot doing Myers Briggs over time. Me too. And yeah. I think questions don't, don't take into account a being a mother, frankly. Yep. Mm -hmm. And because I answer my questions now very differently because there are humans in my life that I will do anything for anything. Yep. And they yeah. light how, how up many, my life. How many kids do you body. have? I've got five, five daughters. Whoa, that's a, that's a good number. Yeah, it's a good number. It's a great number. <laughs> what, what's their age span? Um, they're within six years of each other. So my oldest is 12 and the twins just turned six this week. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So identical? Chaos or all the time. What's that? Identical twins or fraternal? They're identical. Wow. Wow. Nuts, right? Um, that was not something I saw coming. Uh, so that was, that was my biggest surprise in life. Uh, without a doubt. Biggest wow. surprise. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, when I take Myers-Briggs and answer those questions with those humans in my life, I'm totally different on the chart. If I answer all those questions with a work lens, I land in a different spot, right? Absolutely. So, yeah. I don't think that they've nailed that ability to flex with the fact that we live in a different, in different environments. And I think yeah. women as, as primary caregivers in many instances, live in those split worlds more often. Yes. Yes. So those models don't fit us as well. You know, they, I mean, the simple way to remedy that would just be to take every model assessment that you're doing and go through it twice. Do this for work. Now do it at home. That'd be a really fun experiment just to see yeah. how, how stark a difference they were, you know, how different they are. Yeah. So, and it would be so interesting what, to what see. What is it. the Myers-Briggs that you think is most accurate? I can't oh, remember the letters, but I know it's called the commander, whatever one the commander is. Oh, that's the commander. The yeah. That's the one I get the most often. Well, you're uh, certainly extroverted. There's no doubt. I'm not the commander. I know that. Yeah. You and I, I are too introverted. Sometimes. But again, I, I, be I believe you. For my kids. I believe you, but that's sort of like the same way that I'll go extroverted sometimes. It's sort of like putting on a costume. Yeah. yeah. It's the same for me. Oh, I'm going to act up now. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> but I always so, think of extrovert and introvert as like where you charge and like I charge solo or yeah. with one of my little kids snuggling me and just spending time like oh me the, too. So that is more kids, introverted. it was solo. That's and more now, introverted. Um, with kids, it's 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 a snuggle. Yeah. So I'm happy. <laughs> but so, that's practically yeah. solo because they're like part of yourself. They are. That's a yeah. really good point. They are. So what have you, just uh, off the wall question, but what did having five, what did you learn from having five kids? What are you learning from Every having day, five something kids? Different. Um, oh, Carmen, that's a big question. Yeah, it's, it's a big one. I think two things jumped to mind. One thing, I just saw people differently after having them. Like I just, I saw... I saw more humanity, you know, seeing people as somebody's kids, seeing right. somebody as somebody's mother. Um, it just changed how I saw the, the people in the world. Yeah. Um, in a, in a really positive way, in a grounding way, in a way that helped me to sort of, you know, you're never going to weed out all your biases or anything like that, but it helped me to see them in a, just a more human way. Right. Right. Um, and then I think also it has, I am not, um, by nature, a patient person, anybody who knows me could tell you that. Uh, um, and so just hearing something or being in a moment and not reacting to it and trying to hone that skill and how important it is not to react, um, in your first instinct and to just wait. Um, and, and even sometimes I'm not saying I do this all the time but I, I aspire to do it. Um, just waiting, waiting to react and waiting to sort of, um, let that first impression go. And just that, that patience is so important, you yeah. know? So I'm thinking, I like, have a, a formulation yeah, right. for that. Uh, I would, uh, when I was younger, 30, 40 years ago, I used to regret the fact that I had a delayed bristle as opposed to an on-time bristle. So somebody 
would say something and I, I would, you know, ruminate on it consciously or unconsciously. And then I would think, you know, four hours later, wait a minute, what were they saying to me? It's totally wrong. Delayed bristle, very ineffective. I can't do anything with it. So uh, my aspiration was always to develop more of an on-time bristle, more of an on-time bristle. And I have abandoned uh, the on-time bristle thing. I think delayed bristle is the best kind of bristle to have. I think I absolutely agree because as somebody who's been a lifelong pr practitioner of the on-time bristle, on -time bristle. Yep. <laughs> it is not the best way to handle any situation, work or otherwise. Yep. Um, but I think there might be a third option, which oh, is okay. the delayed, what's like a relaxed bristle? I, I'm thinking about well, my dog's the, hair. The, it's it's a out. not bristle. It's observing. The non bristle is if yeah. you wait even longer that you're not bristling anymore. Yeah. Oh, That's so the, the bristle never even manifests. Right. So because there's I, nothing to be afraid of because you realize it was just someone's like, it was just a, yeah. like a little burp or something. The bristle never even manifesting is like the fourth level. That's like the elevated, like, I hope I get there by the time I'm 80. <laughs> but if you let the bristle hit, you don't react. And then you kind of articulate why you're bristling. And then you still let a little bit of time go so that you're no longer bristling. Right. And then you broach it. Yes, I think that's, right. that's the sweet yeah. spot. The, the the ideal is never bristle, but right. I got to tell yeah. you, I don't know. I, I, I'll i talk to my future self, Julia, but I, I don't know if I could get there in this lifetime. 